Dramos here from the Michael Tura Podcast Network live backstage, iHeartRadio Fiesta Latina in Miami. And I'm joined with my fellow podcast family right Hi, here, baby. Emily Estefan and Gemini Hernandez. Finally, we get to meet you in person. I know, I know. It's like there's been a lot of firsts of getting to meet people finally. We're all mm-hmm. here together for a common cause. How does it feel to be in this building right now for Fiesta Latina? I mean, we're from Miami. We grew up in this building. Mm. And we couldn't be prouder to be here representing mm. iHeart most yes. of all, representing Latin people. Yes. I mean, it's like the perfect melting pot. Yes, yes. It's a, it's a celebration of our community, right, and our culture, right? This is our night tonight, yeah. which is such a beautiful thing. And when we talk about culture and we talk about the word specifically community, what comes to mind for each of you guys? For me, I think that I've learned that when you leave Miami and when you leave to other places, mm. whether it be in the United States or Europe, if you have Latin roots, yeah. you take that anywhere you go. Mm. And it is a reflection of who you are and you like impart it into yeah. other people. Like I have all my honorary Cubans, sure. right? So I'm grateful that you know my grandmother and my mother and father allowed me to speak Spanish and mm. have that be a part of my blood and my culture, even though I was born in America. Mm-hmm. And that's what tonight's about. Yeah. Miami, somebody says like, Miami's amazing because it's so close to the United States. <laughs> <laughs> right? I love that. What about you? What, what does community mean for you? I mean, we Latinos, we're known for opening our doors up to each other, yes. for being warm. Mm. I mean, it's not every day that you can walk into a place and no. hear somebody say, Bienvenido, corazón, como right. te ayudo? Right. Um, and that's kind of what I think about. I think about the camaraderie between us. Yeah. I think about the recognition that we feel when we recognize, you know, someone else mm-hmm. is is from our same community. You know, yeah. it's, it's like Emily said, you can find it all over the all over the world. Yeah. And it always feels like home. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. So I'm from New York. My family's mm-hmm. Puerto Rican, but I always, whenever I go back to the island, I feel that warmth, right? Like mm-hmm. my people, right? Yeah. And I felt that when I touched down in Miami this weekend. Like even getting into the Uber, the Uber driver was like my Theo almost. You know, the way he was <laughs> yeah, speaking yeah, to yeah. me. Yeah, here is the weather. Yeah, oh, the, the yeah. weather, the weather. <laughs> the sun. That, that might it's be what it is. Global warming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're taking a real hard left <laughs> no, here. No. Just kidding. Anyway. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it pro- it might, the weather might have something to do with it. Everybody, everybody in New York is so damn angry they're freezing their I ass know, off all the time. That I might know. be a part of it. It's easy to be happy when you're warm, right? It's true. <laughs> but, but I mean, Let's talk about, since you guys are locals, right, and we're here in your backyard growing up, I mean, what are some memories of your neighborhood specifically in in Miami? I don't know any other place in the United States that you can drive by a neighborhood and Mm -hmm. see people playing dominoes in their front Mm -hmm. lawn, Mm -hmm. you know, like, and at all hours of the day, too. Right. Um, Just, just, it's, it's everywhere in every corner. My childhood was filled with, I mean, I grew up speaking Spanish first, in fact. My, I'm very lucky to say that my grandparents are here mm-hmm. with me still Beautiful. today. Yeah. Um, and you know, when you're when you're a family that's an immigrant family, you mm-hmm. know, a lot of the times it takes a whole village to raise the kids. So sure. they played a really big role in my upbringing. Mm-hmm. And I, I heard stories of Cuba. I heard stories of their upbringing. Mm-hmm. I learned tongue twisters in Spanish, yeah. and I sang songs, and I learned about flavors th- through that lens. So it's 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 indelible. It's everywhere. That's beautiful. What about you? I grew up on Miami Beach, mm-hmm. which was a blessing and lovely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel like something that's often overlooked about our city is how close we are in proximity to so many islands mm. in these beautiful waters. Yeah. So for me, being able to be so connected to the ocean and and surfing and like connecting to that portion of the earth has been a big gift to me about the city. I'm always like, if you live in the city, we all need to spend a little more time getting to the ocean. Yeah, it's a gift. No, that's true. It's true. I want to I was really actually excited to talk to you guys. I'm a fan of the podcast. So let's let's talk about this. All right. So in our own world, what you guys are doing is so important. And I want to let you know that because you are giving people the opportunity to be themselves and embrace being themselves, right? Like you guys talk about being weird, right? And that's like something you own. That's your thing. Yeah. I mean, let's let's talk a bit about that journey into even just being able to walk so confidently in your own authenticity. I think it's a never ending journey. Yeah. I think that every step you take, you're discovering yourself a little bit more. Mm. And especially, you know, us, we're in our late 20s. Yeah. So pretty young, okay. <laughs> Very young. Uh, you know? yeah. yeah. Don't and- age me. <laughs> Four months older. Well, she never lets me live it down. <laughs> but uh, and and as you take those steps, you also I think kind of check in with yourself and make sure that you're showing up as authentically as possible. Sure. So, to speak of the journey is to speak of the fact that it's never ending. Mm. But um, it just takes knowing and accepting that everything that you have to offer the world is exactly what you were meant to offer, mm. and you are complete 
as you stand and yeah. everything that you could ever wish to accomplish is within your reach. So um, sometimes growing up, being queer, being, you know, the music kid, mm. necessarily not the popular kid, you, you had to kind of fight a little harder to, mm. to, have, to have a presence yeah. in, in any space that you were in. So we thought, why don't we offer that space to others? <laughs> and then the latter part of it is having a network and a family like yeah. iHeart and My Cultura mm. that mm. supports being who you want to be. Right. So often in, especially being Latino, like we are misrepresented when we have the opportunity to step into the limelight mm -hmm. and being able to be who we really are. Like we are weird, yeah. we're queer, mm -hmm. we're, we have different opinions. Sure. You know, we come in all different packages, mm -hmm. which I'm very grateful that iHeart allows us to do. So. Yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful thing. I love your weirdness. Never change, <laughs> please, all right? I love what you guys Likewise, are doing. Like Thank you. you so much. One day I hope I'll grow a beard like yours. Ooh, <laughs> listen, I'll give you some tips when we get off. If of I stop camera. shaving, maybe. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> listen, backstage at iHeartRadio's Fiesta Latina with these beautiful ladies right here. Thank y'all so much yeah. for joining us. We appreciate it.